toner rosy dime that'll go great with my kennedy toner won't it nice what's up precious metal maniacs mississippi metals here and today i'm bringing you a video i'm calling what not why not so i went a little nuts on what not this weekend and um I, I bought a bunch of stuff and i wanted to show you guys what i bought and tell you a little bit about my experience now i mentioned in my last video that uh I tried it for the first time and I you know I was a little skeptical but <clears throat> I paid a really good price for the products that I got I got them in a really quick time and it was exhilarating to win some of the auctions so let's start with a few things that I picked up the first thing I got <clears throat> was from this gentleman at DSS coin and bullion and I paid nine bucks and I got I don't know a really rough 1934 Washington quarter and a 1925 mercury dime um, neither one of them are in great condition but you know hey I won the auction I paid nine bucks for a silver quarter and a dime you know whatever and then when you're a first-time buyer you know they'll, these guys will send you their sticker really cool um, one purchase all right the next thing <clears throat> All right, I got from this guy cash on hand. Again, I had a really good experience. I ended up winning two or three things on uh, his auction. And here they are. The first thing I got was a 1922S piece dollar. Let's see if we can find that mint mark. There it is right there, the S mint mark. So we got a 1922 piece dollar. And, uh, you know, it's in pretty decent condition. And uh, I'm happy with that. All right. And then I also got, check these bad boys out, 1964 Kennedy half. That one's in pretty good condition. And uh, here's another one. 1964 Kennedy half that's 90% silver really cool uh, but check this one out 1967 that's 40% but look at that tonnage on that guy right there got some blues and some purples and you know the whole rainbow on that one 40% or 1967 Kennedy half dollar toner really cool all right then i made a purchase from this gentleman here nevada coin and jewelry and i got one gram of platinum and i uh, ended up paying 40 bucks for this which i didn't think was really bad um it looks really cool when you got the camera zoomed up on it but i want to give you some perspective let's shrink that down um all right here's a dime you know how small a dime is uh the dime is about twice the size of this one gram and of course you know we we know that platinum is denser than gold and uh that's why it's so small but that guy is tiny but i'm glad to have it and something else this guy sent this card that says we buy collections of any size so that is pretty cool we're always thinking about an exit strategy so uh, i'm gonna hold on to this if i ever need to or wanted to sell my whole collection sounds like this guy might buy it from me all right i also picked up a barber quarter i forget which one i bought it from but uh i can't guess this guy didn't give me a sticker but 1912 pretty decent condition barber quarter looks pretty good there so all in all i ended up spending about 150 dollars on whatnot and uh made some pretty good purchases again for me it is exhilarating to win an auction it's really fun um everything i've bought so far has got to me within a week 
and uh, I got really good prices on everything. But as I said before, you can overpay. Some of these guys get in these bidding wars, and before you know it, they've paid forty and forty-five dollars for a one-ounce round. You know, that's not me. But what I like to try to do is try to find. Um, you know, a, a room that has low participants or not a whole lot of people in the the room itself, and uh, usually the bids will stay kind of low. They they stay kind of market price or maybe even a little under. But it, it is fun to win the auction. It really is. Um. So I do uh, encourage everybody to go try what not if you haven't done it. I tell you what, I'm also really thinking about maybe becoming a seller on what not. I really think I could do that. You know. Um. Here we go. We got a Libertad. We'll start it off at um, uh, one thirty. All right. Go. All right. That's just practice, but that's kind of how it works. Sometimes they start at a dollar and go. Sometimes they'll have, especially on their higher premium items, they'll start it off at a price and let it go from there if you hadn't seen it. But uh, anyways, I appreciate everybody. I enjoyed it. And uh, again, I encourage you guys to go check it out. One more thing before I go real quick, guys. A uh, quick mail call from my pal stack attack wager um kittens i like kittens uh really nice postcard i'll let you pause that if you want to read it and then check this out a really cool if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you like anything you see hit that thumbs up hey and in the comments let me know, are you guys buying anything off whatnot? And if so, you know, who are some of your favorite people that you're following? Maybe it was, uh, you know, some that I would like to check out. Here's some again that I really like if you want to go check them out. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate your time. Mississippi Metals out.